Hi guys, Goodgulf here with a short video on how to do the basic setup of Steamworks and Miro networking. Why a short video? Well, it only takes a few steps to make Steam and Miro work perfectly together. So let me outline the steps to perform. Make sure you have all necessary components installed. First install Miro. As you may remember from the previous video, I do use Heathen Steamworks Complete version 2, but it should also work for the free foundation version. You can find the link to the free version in the asset package for the completes version. Once you installed Steamworks Complete and its dependencies like Steamworks.net, which it automatically installs if you import Steamworks Complete, then you will also need to import the Fizzy Steamworks transport. You can install it through the package manager using the add package from git url option. Once done installing the components, create the Steamworks settings in your project. Now add the app ID for your project or the demo app ID 480. Note, you cannot create a working build using this demo app ID, it only runs in the Unity editor. Now you only need to make one more change to your project. Go to the Network Manager and remove the default KCP Network Transport component and add the Fizzy Steamworks component to replace it. Don't forget to add it to the Network Transport property of the Network Manager script. Now you are ready to use Steam as your network layer. As you can see in the code, you need to make some code changes. You don't need to use IP addresses anymore, instead connect to users' Steam IDs. This includes all the necessary code to deal with network translation and such, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Yes, I'm using a more intricate method by means of Steam Lobby's set game server command, but we'll look at that in the next video. Ok, that's it for now. If you like this video then please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up.